Hey, it's Yash, and in this lesson, we're going to cover the Find Jobs Source and Enrichments in Clay. Before we dive into Clay, first, it's worth covering when you might want to use the Find Jobs Source or Enrichment. People often start with jobs as a source or a list if you're a recruiter looking for open positions and then backtracking your way into the companies you might potentially fill those roles for. Alternatively, you might use the Find Job Source if you're on the job search yourself and searching for a new position, or maybe if you're a BDR or an SDR looking to use jobs as the primary signal by which you're filtering down the companies you want to target. For example, you might be an automation software that helps revenue teams better streamline all revenue operations. In that case, you might go after companies that have lots of account executive or BDR, SDR job openings because you help those companies automate and save time in those roles. Let's run with that example for just a moment. If we come back into the workbook we've been using for all these lessons and go back to adding a new table via sources, we can start with finding jobs. And we could note here that we can also find jobs at just the list of companies that we have in this table as well. So we'll keep it to that. Note that when we open up our find jobs modal, we'll automatically have a list selected for us from the company's table. We're going to want to make sure this list is actually exactly what we want it to be. In this case, we could filter this list down to just the companies we found in our original find companies search. But for this example, we're going to keep our search broad by intention. In this search, I want to go after all jobs that are BDRs or SDRs. I will also include the spelled out versions of BDR and SDR, business development representative and sales development representative. It's important to include all the different possible permutations of job titles because we don't yet have semantic search as a feature in Clay. But this at least gets me started. Just to check how this feels, I'll go ahead and click preview and see how many jobs pop up. I'm expecting this number to be huge because we're not filtering by companies or location or anything else. Indeed, 20,662 job openings is a little bit too large for a source. So maybe we'll go ahead and limit these jobs only to ones in the United States. Let's see how that filters my job count down. While that's loading, I'll show a few of these other job types. We could also filter by full-time, part-time, etc. Awesome. Filtering to the US alone makes a little bit more sense. Our list is now more narrow. Let's say I only want companies looking for full-time BDRs. So I add that parameter, preview jobs again, and see how 20,000 went down to 7,000 and now goes down to 8. Now our list is called down to the solid 6,800 jobs that we found. but. For the sake of speed in this video, we're going to preview it to just the first 500. Awesome. Now that we've got our table with all of our data here, using all the other skills you've already learned, you could waterfall data to add more information about these companies. You could find people at these companies using the company domain and then use this data about the total number of jobs available at that company to personalize some outreach. That's everything on the jobs source in Clay. But the second thing we could do is find open jobs using the jobs enrichment in Clay, which is a waterfall across predict leads, Google, and our native jobs data source. So here we can come back to our original company table, go ahead and add our find jobs waterfall here. In the jobs waterfall, we'll be prompted to add the domain, which is already included by default as a parameter. And then again, I could narrow this down to look for keywords like BDR, SDR, etc. But 
just to see what's happening here because we haven't filtered this list of companies very specifically. I'll just go ahead and see what all the active job openings are at these companies by saving and running the first 10 rows here again. You'll see the traditional waterfall you should be used to by now pop open and then you'll see how many of these companies actually have valid jobs available and ready for people to apply to. We can see Predict Leads is finding a few jobs across this initial category. Google Jobs is also finding a few. And then if I wanted to, I could remove the conditional runs from these columns to just force run job searches across all of our data sources here. But we're seeing ranges from three jobs all the way up to 590 jobs. We could then write these jobs to a new table if we wanted to. But if all I actually wanted was a total job count, this is an instance where using the enrichment might make more sense than the source, which is kind of the opposite of what we were doing with company lookalikes. That's everything we've got on finding and enriching jobs in Clay. Thanks for watching. Up next, we'll get into how to use write to table to connect tables within a workbook in Clay.